Welcome to the program. I'm Mark Imperial. This segment is brought to you by BooksGrowBusiness.com. It's the place where busy professionals get their books done to educate consumers, grow their businesses, and to leave a legacy. This is a series of spotlights on remarkable exit planning advisors from across the country. And joining me on this segment is Matthew Sanchez. He's the founder of Alpha Strategy Partners. Matthew, welcome to the show. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate you having me. Matthew, tell us a little bit about your work and specifically tell us who are the types of clients that you work with and help. Excellent. Thanks so much. So uh, I specialize in working with business owners and I really focus on business owners that have roughly about a, a million to five million in revenue for their businesses. That's really where I find the sweet spot for my services. And really what we do is I started off actually in my uh, getting into exit planning because I'm a wealth manager and I'm a certified financial planner. So working with business owners and helping them really uh, build wealth outside of their business really actually led me towards helping them with their biggest and most important asset, which is the value of their business. Unlike most folks where uh, I would say, well, unlike most folks, <laughs> it's actually the exact opposite of the general population. Whereas most employees focus on building their wealth outside of uh, their company, most business owners, their retirement strategy is actually to build the value of their company and sell it for multiple later down the line. And what you end up finding is that actually roughly 70 to 80% of businesses that go to market don't sell, which is a huge risk. And by addressing that key risk, uh, really we're able to help people build generational wealth and make sure that they keep their plans on track to have the life and lifestyle that they're looking for. So one of the ideas here of this series is just to shed light on the value of proper planning when people are going to sell or exit their business or transition. What are the preconceived notions in these business owners' minds? Have they even given it much thought what their exit plan is going to look like? Do they even know where to start? Actually, surprisingly, that I think that's one of the biggest struggles that most business owners have is they don't know where to start. It's one of those things where they know at some point they won't be a business owner. You know, they'll eventually will need to transition that business. But while they're still doing it, they think it's so far away. And the reality is you can actually build your business however you want. And one of the biggest parts of what I found is having a conversation, let them know it's okay. You can actually give yourself a promotion to the chairman's board and you can actually run and oversee your business and not let it be dependent on you day to day. And giving themselves that type of permission allows them not to be dependent on circumstance, whether they want to exit their business, but rather they can choose and have the power to choose when that happens. Can you kind of give us like a 10,000 foot view of what a good exit plan should look like? And like when you work with a client, what are kind of the areas of focus that you take them through? If you can kind of give us a, a big picture of that. Yeah, I think a lot of business owners have some vague idea or notion what they would like to happen but they really haven't fleshed it out, haven't really thought through the ins and outs of how does that actually happen? Most people think that just because they get a great revenue uh, or income from their business that somebody else wants it. And the reality is uh, most of them are actually just selling the job. And I think that society has really changed a lot over the last you know several years, decades even. And it's becoming more of a generational con uh, conversation where uh, we want to help them understand ultimately what they would like to have happen. You know, if you don't know what you'd like to have happen, I think that's first of all going to be a problem. But second of all, once you actually have an idea like, oh, I want this to either be an internal transition. I'd like to sell it to management. I'd like to sell it to my son, my daughter. Maybe you want to have your employees buy you out. Uh, maybe you want to do it externally. Maybe you want to get a, sell it to uh, have an arm link transaction where you could really just maximize the value of what you're getting from your business. So there's actually a lot of different options when it comes to selling your business that, uh, first of all, you have to just think of what's the ideal situation you'd like to have happen. And then second of, the, uh, second of all, you know, what are the pieces that you need to bring into play to make them happen? So for example, I'm working with one of my clients now, and she has a wonderful practice. Uh, she's a veterinarian and she her calling is just to help as many uh, uh, owners and their, vet, uh, their pets as possible. That's her sole focus. And she knows that every single practice around her has been bought out by private equity firms. And I'm not saying that they're doing anything wrong, 
but that's not how she wants her business or her legacy to, to be handled. And so uh, the, the, the challenge in this situation is she has identified an employee who she would like to have own it. And now we have to put that employee in a position to be able to buy the company from her in about five years from now. So this process, even though we're talking about an event that's going to happen five years out, it's vital that we start that conversation today. Because if we don't have that conversation today, then we're not going to put that person in a position to be able to buy the company five years from now. And so I would say that for most business owners, thinking through that whole process and how do we put all those pieces in place? How do we have that success? How do we have that legacy that you're looking for? That's really what planning is all about. And when you flesh this out, you got to have conversations, really honest conversations with those people because maybe they don't want your business. And I've seen that happen too, where somebody wanted their, their son to take over the business. And he's like, dad, I'm not interested in your business. I have worked for it for the last you know 20 years, but this is not where my heart lies. So it was a really honest conversation that they had, but it's actually allowed everyone to move forward. And ultimately that owner can better protect his employees and his business and his suppliers and his customers because now they can move forward with a new plan. So I think that's really the whole process is thinking through what are the outcomes that you want? Who are the people that we need? And have those honest conversations to see, is this viable? How can we make it viable? And then how do we execute? That's a really fascinating insight. It sounds like the good news is you've got a lot of opportunities and options. And the bad news is you've got a lot of opportunities and options that you have to consider. So I can see where a, a really great plan uh, is important. Matthew, what inspired you to even get into this field and help business owners with their exit plans? How'd you get started? Yeah. So I, growing up, I always saw myself as an entrepreneur. And so I think it's one of those things where you kind of self-identify and your best position to help people most like yourself. And as I got into wealth management, as I grew that business, I really focused on specializing more and more and more. And on the personal wealth management side, when you specialize, you see common themes every single day. And when you start bringing in the tax planning with the company retirement plan with, you know, the cash flow of the business because business is personal. And that's something that's really important because when you have one source of income, either you're going to keep it in the business or you're going to take it out. That's, a, that's going to affect your family. That, that is a personal decision. It's also a business decision. So when we start integrating all these different areas of your life, I think that is it can be very complex. It can be very challenging. And that's something that really inspires me to be my best because that's just where I, 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 I just enjoy it. It's not like your typical situation. And there's a reason why, um, you know, most entrepreneurs are the wealthiest people in, in our society. It's because we, we have very complex needs, complex problems. And it's not just as simple as we need to either change your rate of return or, or take more risk, or we need to extend your time horizon. It's, we really need to think how every single piece affects every single thing else. If we're only focused on taxes and trying to reduce tax liability, well, that is going to absolutely spill over into every single aspect of your business and how you run your business. And every single decision that you make with your business is going to affect your employees, your family, you know, how much time you're going to have to spend into it. And ultimately, I think every owner like myself really wants freedom. And that freedom means something different to every single person, but you know inherently you got into this to support your family. And ultimately you wanna make sure that you're there to enjoy your time with them too. So it's very complex. And I think that's something that I really enjoy is just the complexity of the problems. And, uh, and just that's what make that life's all about, right? Life's not simple, it's not, it's not black and white. It's you know, a myriad of, of shades of gray. Before I ask you my last question, is there anything that I didn't think to ask you regarding exit planning that you feel is like important to share with business owners considering exiting now or in the really near future? You know, uh, I think the one of the great things you've highlighted is the importance of having a plan or talking to someone today. Because if you don't talk to someone today, you're really not going to we talked about freedom earlier, right? We talked about wanting to have that freedom. 
you want to have all your opportunities and all the choices available for you. And if you keep delaying conversation later and later and later, you'll have less and less and less choices because at some point the decision will be made for you. And we talked about you having those decisions, but what if life has them for you? Whether it's death, disability, divorce, you name it, those decisions can be taken from you. And if you're an entrepreneur like me who wants to take control of their freedom, take control of their opportunities, then it's important to have these conversations now to maximize those abilities. Terrific. Matthew, for business owners listening now that resonate with your message and would love to speak with you, how can they find you, connect with you, and learn more? Absolutely. You can actually go to my website. It's multipliermillions.com. And there, uh, there's actually a lot, uh, there's actually a sellability score. You can go on, takes 15 minutes, and I can actually provide you a baseline value for uh, how sellable your business is now. And if you take a couple additional questions, you can actually get an estimate of the approximate value of your business today. This has been terrific. I really appreciate you taking the time to share with my audience. You shared some really sage advice and insights and examples, and I really appreciate it. And I wish you continued success for you and for all of your clients. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it. That was Matthew Sanchez, founder of Alpha Strategy Partners. And this segment was brought to you by booksgrowbusiness.com. It's the place where busy professionals get their books done to educate consumers, grow their businesses, and to leave a legacy. That's all for now. I'm Mark Imperial, and thanks for joining me.